Hello once again everyone, this is Vanguard of Valor, and welcome to another episode of FTL on board the VSS Apocalypse. We've got Death, War, Plague, and Famine, all four horsemen, on board, and this Federation cruiser Type A is ready to wreak some havoc. So, let's go and get started. There's a store over there, but that's not interesting, so let's go find something else. Let's jump right here. I don't have any money to put into the store, which is why I'm not bothering to head over there. We found a rock ship docked with a damaged Mantis fighter. Before we have a chance to hail them, the ship moves into attack, and we register teleporter symbols from the disabled ship. They're using the Mantis tech to board us. Right in the weapons. Okay, well I can play like that. Let's vent out the oxygen, keep you fighting my Mantis while there is still oxygen. And as soon as there isn't any, I'm going to run him into the medbay. Also, we're going to hit you in the weapons, hopefully turn off your rockets. Or get out of there. Get out of there. Alright, they've started to, to attack us. We need to turn on the medbay. Good. And... Oh, the rockets are back online, unfortunately. That's no good. They are now attacking a different system. That should also vent out of oxygen before they get to kill it. Maybe not quite before. That's too bad. They knock out our radar. Yes, they did. Well, that's okay. We can sit here and watch them suffocate. Now, in the meantime, we're going to shoot them again in the weapons, turn off those rockets again. And now the rockets are completely offline, so we're basically home free. They have come through here to attack us. If I start venting out the room again while they're still fighting in it, we should be able to take the... Oh, come on. Take the oxygen out before they get to kill me. Run into the medbay, please. Weapons are still down, and there goes the artillery beam. The rock ship hails, saying, Enough! We were told aliens were a threat to our ways, and you have proved as much. Take this and leave us in peace. They offer us four fuel, three missiles, and fifteen scrap, but that's not half enough for me. We will not accept your surrender. We heal up, and uh, let's just shoot them in the same... Uh, assume the oxygen just for fun. Jump in here and start defending ourselves. We should be able to kill them this time. Let's close those doors. We don't really want to be suffocating our other crew members if we can help it. So, ship explodes, giving us a missile, a drone part, and 33 scrap. That's it. More or less paid for itself. Nicely done. And uh, down goes that guy. And war can kill that one too. Very nicely done there. War and famine surprisingly managed to fight off our enemies. Famine, not the best fighter. Probably because he's so hungry all the time. Go fix up that radar station. Thank you very much. War, you can head back to your station in the weapons bay. Fix up that radar. There we go. Now we can see again. That's never a bad thing. So those doors we bought paid off there. Managed to suffocate some damage off those rocks. Now we could go to the distress beacon. Why don't we go over here first, though? We'll work our way up this way, probably. Anything over here? What do we find? We find another ship. Alright, we've interrupted a rock salvage operation. They don't seem to mind that we're on board while they start junking our ship. I kind of mind about that, guys. <laughs> That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Let's attack them. They've only got one shield bubble, but they do have three damage... Maybe four damage? Wow, because that's a double laser, and that's a dual heavy. Oh, we missed three times, or two times? Come on. And they hit us, that's unfortunate. Hit them in the weapons. Come on, guys, knock them out. Their weapons should be out of sync after that first salvo, so they shouldn't be able to hit us again. Especially now that we've knocked out one of their weapons. But we've still taken a bit of damage, that's so not ideal. Hit them in the weapons again, just to make sure they can't hurt us because they will be repairing that quickly. And now we'll go for the helm, so they can't dodge our attacks. And I should take this power back out of the medbay, put it back in the engines where it belongs, keep putting us back up to 40 dodge. The rock, ship, blah, 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 the rock ship moves into a defensive position and transmits a white flag signal. They're willing to buy their lives, but they're only willing to spend three missiles of drone part and 19 scrap. And that is not sufficient for me. We're not accepting that surrender. We're coming in for the kill. And they have one health remaining. With our next attack, we should be able to kill them. And they won't be able to do anything to us to stop us. Come on, down they go. And that's it for them. The apocalypse has visited them as well. The ship explodes, even behind two missiles, a drone part, and 27 scrap. Nothing to be complaining about. We have enough to buy an upgrade of some kind. We could upgrade the weapon control and uh, not quite buy another reactor bar in order to bring the hull missile online as well. Um, let's try anyway. Buy another weapon layer, buy another power bar. If we take power out of the engines, we can power up our hull missile. Alright, now we're a bit more dangerous. We could go to there, we could go to there. 
I kind of want to go here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bypass it. Sneak past... Oh, into an asteroid field. Yeah. We exit the jump, surrounded by dirt and rocks. Before long, a blast is deflected by our shield. That was no asteroid. Incoming pirate. Alright, pirates, you got bombs and a triple laser. I got lasers and missiles. I've also got way more shields than you do, so if I actually manage to take out your shields, you're gonna get a pounding here from these rocks. Our first burst laser is gonna try and knock out their weapons. We got the bomb at least, that's better than nothing. They missed two of their shots, so that's good. Now if we take out their shields, now the rocks should do most of the work for us. We are going to try and take out their Burst Laser Mark II though, so it just managed to hit us again. And now we should be able to sit back and relax and watch the asteroid field do our work. Here it comes. Yep, one more hit. I'm going to let the asteroids kill you. Rocks kill the rocks. Poor guys. The ship explodes, giving us three fuel, a drone part, and another 32 scrap. Nothing to complain about there. We have a distress beacon up ahead, so let's jump and see what they have to offer. What is over here? Once we arrive at the location of a distress call, the civilian ship hails us, thanking us for responding to their beacon. Their FTL navigation has gone haywire, they say, and they can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. They ask if we can lead them there, and we agree to help them out. We say we'll lead them to their destination. They give us 15 scrap as a down payment, and say that they'll follow us as we go. Quest beacon's over there? Okay, let's go around the side here, and then make our way over to the exit, I guess. It, yeah, no, this is going to be a waste no matter what we do. I guess I could go... Hmm... If we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that would probably probably be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eh. There's no good way to do this. If I go, hang on, if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that would work probably. Let's try that. That should give us more or less the perfect number of jumps. What do we find here? A rock ship flies past our windows, and we recognize outcast decorations on the hull. These must be pirates. Alright then, pi oh, I should have bought a power bar to put back in my engines. Whoops. Alright, hit them in the weapons. They have a dual heavy laser, and they have a mm, Pegasus missile, I think. Does two damage, that's what it is. Oh, missed us anyway, and we not managed to knock the missile out, so it should be a problem. I do have a hull missile I can fire at them if I feel like it, so let's. And we'll burst laser them again in the same room. There we go, that's a nice four damage, because we managed to fire it at an empty room. As you should. Unfortunately, our damage took this missile back online, so hopefully our burst laser will take it back offline again. Or their repairs did. That works too. That works as well. I'm not going to waste any missiles on them, though, if I can help it, because we do have a fairly limited supply. 21 missiles will not last forever. And nicely done there, artillery beam. Frying right up the middle of the ship. Nothing to complain about there. Alright. That is the nice thing about the artillery beam. It does your work for you. Hit them with the burst laser. And there you go. It generally picks a good area to attack, too, although sometimes it's not the smartest. The ship explodes, giving us two fuel, two missiles, and another 27 scrap. Alright, buy that power bar. Put it in the engine. There we go. We have 69 more scrap. We're going to actually hold on to it until we get to the quest beacon, in case it happens to be a store of some kind, because that'll get us some repairs. But let's see what we get until then. As we jump in, a vast figure appears in the view screen. The rock captain rubs the green, moss-like appendage on his chin, and then orders his crew to open fire. We got a beard yet. <laughs> There's a beard on this rock captain. What do you know? Now they have four lasers again. No, no, they have three lasers. That's a burst laser mark one. That is a heavy laser mark one. So we should be safe here, because those weapons are slightly out of sync. Although they have a lot of shields. I say we hull missile them in this shield, and that should let us fire through with the burst laser. Let's try it. Don't miss. There we go. Now blast them in the shields again. Hopefully do a little bit more damage there. Keep them from repairing the system. If we can get it down to, to uh, nothing, then we can more or less take them out at our leisure. We don't want to risk having them repair the shields back up to two layers, though, which is why we're harassing them still. I may want to attack the weapons, but for the time being, they haven't been able to actually do anything to us. And there goes the... Be Ooh. This is a good offer. The rock ship hails, saying, Enough! We were told aliens were a threat to our ways, and you have proved as much. Take this and leave us in peace. They offer six fuel, two drone parts, 39 scrap, and a hull repair drone. Well, I'm not saying no to that. Boop. The hull repair drone, if nothing else, is worth 50 scrap to sell, which is nothing to be mocked. Automatically repairs 3 to 5 damage to your hull as well, so if we manage to get a drone bay going, that is free repairs, which is also good, considering we don't use our drones for anything else. What else do we buy, though? I could probably afford to spend some of my money now that I have a whole bunch more in waiting. I guess, let's buy, okay, let's buy another power of energy. Max energy. 
in the engines that we're going to use. Five is the normal limit. And we still have 38 for repairs if we need it. Let's jump ahead to this quest beacon and see if they have anything good for us. The ship we are escorting thanks us. They didn't think they could have made it without our help, and they agreed to patch up our hull and show us their wares. Exactly what I was hoping they would do. What do you know? Unfortunately, I spent all my money, so I can't buy the drone control. That was kind of an oversight on my part, but I can buy repairs. So we're going to do that. Spend all our money on repairs. It's nice to have health again. <laughs> it really, really is. We could probably buy some fuel, too, but we've got plenty for the time being, so I'm not going to worry about it. We might get some later, though. Now we have probably one, two, three, four, five jumps left, so let's make use of them. We'll head back the way we came and see if we can't fight some more people. What do we have here? Ooh. Amantha's ship here is adorned with rock body parts. It would be a gorier display if they had internal organs, but the message is clear enough. This is a hunter of a very specialized kind. We can attack, ignore them, or put our rock crew member on the comm. Let's do that. The two aliens face one another, one another over the vidscreen. Cave-dwelling pebble man! yells the furious Mantis captain. See, I paint my ship with your companions! I paint my ship with you! Well, that didn't go as well as could be hoped, but that's okay. They are boarding us, though, and not intelligently, they charge directly into our med bay. I'm cool with that. You want to jump into the best place you could possibly jump in? Let's do that. We're going to turn off the oxygen while we fight him, because there's no reason not to, honestly. As long as that missile doesn't hit us in the oxygen. No, it does not. Hit them in the weapons with the burst laser. They hit an empty room with their small bombs, so that's fine, too. Although, you know what? I think we're actually going to hull missile their weapons again so they don't shoot us with another rocket. Oh, they did manage to get the rocket off before I hit them. But they missed us, so that's okay. War killed the invading Mantis, so we're going to get back on our weapons, take power out of the med bay, put it back in the oxygen, and hit them in the helm. Of course, they just brought the rocket back online, making that a silly thing to do, but it's too late to regret it now. We do have 85, 45% do 85% dodge. We do have 45% dodge. That's pretty decent. And they did just miss us again. And the artillery beam killed them for us. Not too bad. The ship explodes, leaving behind three fuel, a drone part, and 26 scrap. Thank you kindly there, guys. Thanks for the donation to our cause. Now if we go one, two, three, four, that should probably be one, two, three, four, and that should do it. If we need to cut it short by one system, we can easily do it. Now what do we have here? Mercenaries swarming the galaxy, knowing that their less than legal services are in demand during this period of unrest. One is waiting at this beacon and hails us. We could hire the mercenaries to do a variety of things, but at this point, it's probably better to just fight them. Let's fight that ship. Mercenaries, they say, are worse than rebels. Well, we'll have to see about that. These guys have a pretty big rocket launcher on their ship. That looks like it is a Hermes missile, the one that does three damage when it hits you. They also have a burst, uh, heavy laser mark one, which I don't care about at all. The thing I do have a problem with is the fact that they have strong shields. So we're going to hull missile those shields. Hit them, please. And we missed as well. Well, I guess you can't win them all. Try again burst lasering the weapons. Nope. Too many misses. Hmm, these guys are going to hit us eventually, and it's going to hurt when that thing hits. Uh, missed again, though, so we're good for now. Hit them in the shields, please. Take those shields out. There we go. Hit them in the weapons, and if you can take that missile offline, you just shot their laser. You you just you just shot their laser. Well, thankfully enough, our artillery beam decided to come in and do some of the work for us. Now the enemy is trying to run away, however, and we can't have that. Also, it was a terrible shot. It missed the weapons room. All right, is this missile going to hit us? Yes, it is. It hits us in the engines. That's a nasty hit. Thankfully for us, we managed to take out their weapons and this hull missile. Oh, I sh should have shot it there. Would have killed them in one shot instead of wasting it. All right, so they say that we win the fight and offer us equipment from their stores. However, it's only two fuel a missile and 19 scrap, so we will not accept that surrender. We also send our rock into the burning engines to fix them and send our unfortunate death out to go get some health. This burst laser will kill their ship. There's no way they can survive. Despite the fact that we have no dodge, neither did they. Power up our med bay. The ship explodes, leaving behind a missile, a drone part, and 24 square up. So honestly, that wasn't much better than the offer they gave us. But that's okay. If I take... Hmm. I guess I'll just sit here and let the rock deal with it, because he doesn't take fire damage anyway. He might start suffocating if the fire goes on for long enough, but it looks like he is winning the war against the flames. Then we can send Famine back in to repair the damage. Yes, we can. There we go. Actually, we'll send Death in, too, because it's always good to have everyone have a little bit of skill. A little bit of skill. Famine is almost leveled up. Oh, they just ticked forward again. I'm not entirely sure how these things level. I guess it goes based on room. He'll level up if it does. Yes, it does. Okay, it goes based on stage of power bar. 
That's interesting. Levels up seemingly faster than I thought. Let's send Plague back in his position, take power out of the medbay, put it in the engines, and send Famine back to their position. Alright, we got 62 scrap again. That's pretty good. We can jump ahead. We got one, two, three still looking good, so let's jump over this way. Hopefully make some more money. What do we find here? We encounter a small craft with minimal propulsion. Its rock crew member explains that the rock homeworld is run on lies and propaganda to keep, that keep the populace in check, and that they want no part of it. Now we have options here, and basically none of them are good. We can tell them their gods sent them here to join our crew, or we can promise to share with them the truths they've been denied. I don't really want a rock crew member anyway, but we're going to promise to share with them the truths they've been denied. Our promises gain their attention, and they agree to serve with us for a while. Alright, Walker. You, uh... uh, uh. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a teleporter and send him in our boarding party. That way he'll be useful. They make pretty good boarders, because as long as you only need to get them in one room... There's no problem with their slow movement speed. Um, nothing else to buy there, and it will be good if we need to do some kind of uh, very slow-paced anti-border defenses. Let's see here, what do we have at this station? We come out of the beacon to see laser blasts coming from the other side. It looks like someone's under attack by pirates. Let's help those civilians. We power up weapons and engage the pirate ship. They also have rockets. They have the same... No, they have Pegasus. Uh, Pegasus? No. They have Artemis missiles. And a basic laser, as well as a drone. Nothing to be worried about, really. Hit them in the weapons. As long as that missile doesn't hit us, we're okay. And it hits us in the engines again. Guys, come on. I know you like getting shot in the face, but try not to get hit in the face. <laughs> Let's send... Uh, famine over there to help repair things, because they do a fantastic job. Let's hit them in the drone bay as well, stop that thing shooting at us. That's what I like to see. People not attacking me. There we go. Engines are back online. Let's hit them in the helm now, so they can't run. There we go. Good luck getting away from that now. And we'll burst laser them in the weapons again, to stop that rocket from hitting us. Oh, nice shot there, artillery beam. One more shot, we'll kill them. And down they go. Nice try, guys. The civilians are safe for today. The pirate ship breaks apart, we gather a missile, a drone part and 30 scrap from the wreckage, and when we contact the civilians, we find that they were a science vessel. They thank us for saving them and offer us a reward, involving a missile, a drone part, and another 32 scrap. Nothing to complain about there either. Making lots of money here. Turn off the oxygen temporarily while we go heal up our, uh, our good friend Death. <sighs> Visiting many people with you today, Death. It's very good. Now, we have 124 scrap. We have no reason to not buy anything. Especially because we have that hull missile, hull drone in the reserves as well. I think we could probably afford to upgrade our artillery beam or our shields again. Shields would probably be the better choice. Let us jump to the exit first, and then we'll spend some money probably when we get to the next sector. Alright, we've arrived at Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, we'll be able to jump onwards. Scans, however, reveal a large asteroid field nearby. We might be able to find something useful inside, and we're reckless, so we're going to explore it despite the dangers. We discover the remains of a ship embedded into an asteroid, which still has some functional missiles. Two missiles, 21 scrap. Not bad, more free money. I like free money. Unfortunately, now we're jumping into an uncharted nebula, and that could be bad for us. I don't like being in the nebulas, because ion storms are killer. Alright, we have entered a nebula-rich sector. We may put a few light years on the fleet, but it's only useful if we make it out the other side. I absolutely agree, game. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to buy two additional power bars, I think. Two additional power bars, yes. And we're going to put... There's no point... I was going to put power in the sensors, but there's no point doing that if we have this <laughs> nebula around us. And it might even be worthwhile putting a point into oxygen and another point into the med bay, so if we find any slugs who want to sabotage our systems, they can't do it. For the time being, I think we'll leave it as it is. We could upgrade our artillery beam and power it again. That would give it a 30 second cooldown, which is quite nice. I don't really want to waste the money, though, because I would really like level 3 shields soon. So we're going to hold on to our money. If we can get up enough money now, we'll be able to do that again. But we want that extra power, so we have at least one more bar if we get a ion storm. Watch this be an ion storm. It is! What do you know? Perfect timing. Alright, we jump into a sector of the nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout stationed at the beacon moves in to attack us. Well, we might actually be able to fight these guys. If I turn off the hull missile, we have enough power to power shield bar. If I take another one out of the engines, we have two shield bars. So let's try and fight it. 
we, we should be able to fight them as long as they don't have like level two or three shields. Prepare to fight them. They have no shields. Perfect. Okay, we turn off the hull missile. We turn on the shields. On the shields. Get those shields up and active there, RNG. That's your job. Now, these do have a level 2 hull laser, a level 2 heavy laser, and a beam, and a bomb, but if we knock them out quickly, there we go. We're pretty much safe now. We can take them out at our leisure. We are slowly suffocating, because we don't have enough power to run the oxygen, unless I want to take something out of the engines, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we're good. Now I'll take power out of the engines, put it in the oxygen, and we should have no problems. We'll hit them in the helm here to make sure they don't dodge us, and uh, we should be pretty much done. As I say, make sure they don't dodge us the first shot misses. Of course it does. Burst laser them in the engines, please. War, that is your job. Hit them in the engines. There we go. Down goes the droid. Good thing I didn't run, because that would have been a waste. Ship explodes, giving us two fuel, a missile, and another 34 scrap. Very nice. Alright, now we can jump further in. One of the nice things about nebulas is that the rebels do move significantly slower than outside the nebula. Not quite as slowly as they do in nebulas in non-nebula sectors, but still pretty good. A pirate ship arrives shortly after us. Judging from the fact that they're trying to stay away from our ship, we assume they're a smuggler trying to avoid the beacons. We decide to attack them for good measure. We power up our weapons and move in to engage. Power, 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 power. was a power in there too for good measure. Come to think of it, if I had bought the shield level last time, we would have already had it active. And those guys have big guns. Oh man, that's a level 3 burst laser. And a dual lasers. They got a whole seven lasers firepower. We don't have to worry about the dual laser at the moment, but we do need to worry about this thing. Oh, and they also have level two shields. We're gonna hull missile them in the weapons, hopefully turn off this thing before it fires. Yes, we did. Perfect. That was good. Now we need to worry about taking out their shields. There we go. Perfect. Now I can hit them in the weapons again. That could not have gone better. I probably should focus on... Oh, no. Weapons are on fire. Focus on the shields. Focus on the shields, because that way they won't be able to repair them. They say they don't want to fight and are trying to escape, and they try and bribe us to let them get away. They realize our ship is no their ship is no match for ours, and they say that if we let them go, they can make it worth our while. Or they only offer five fuel, a drone part, and eighteen scrap. And I want more scrap than that, because I'm greedy. Let's ignore their pleas and attack. They are trying to run those, so we're gonna have to hit them quickly in the helm. This should do it, but if we miss, then we're gonna have to hull missile them. Also, our artillery beam is just about ready to fire, so that should kill them, no problem. And down they go. Nice try, guys. Alright. Searching the remains, we find that the cargo was military-grade drone schematics. We bring them aboard to install them in our own ship. We gain 39 scrap and an anti-ship drone, Mark 1. We got quite the collection of drones now, don't we? We got uh, hull, drone, hull repair and an anti-ship drone. Nothing too shabby there. We're going to buy our level 3 shields and directly put the power we've stored into it. Fantastic. We don't have any spare energy bars now, but we are much better protected. So I guess our next course of action is just to start moving again. So, let's take a look at our map and see where we're going to head next. I guess, uh, let's uh, work our way through this way. We have a lot of jumps here in this nebula, so we don't want to waste them. What do we have at this nebula? We have our ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. We see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to look for us. Well, how about we attack them? They do have a big missile. I don't know what that is, so they, excuse me, they are probably fairly well equipped and they have a teleporter, but we're going to fight them anyway, because why not? Attack that ship. They can't actually get through our three levels of shield simultaneously. Where is that guy? He's way over there. Let's start venting him out. We'll send Walker over to deal with it when he does get into the artillery beam. In the meantime, oh, there's two of them in there, wow. Hey guys, how about we close those doors up again then, and we're actually going to send our Mantis over to go help out. He should get there before too long. They do have level 2 shields, though. That's unfortunate. We are going to let them fire at us, and then... Get in there. Okay. Now that we have our hull missile fired up, we're going to launch it at their shields, and we're going to launch our burst laser at their weapons. And we missed. Horribly. Well done, gentlemen. Hopefully this missile misses us. It does not miss us. Ow, that hurt. That was a breach missile or something. I think it did 4 damage. Ow. Alright, you know what, you're going to go straight back to your weapons bag, we want that faster weapon recharge. We are going to hit them again in the shields with another missile, and then we're going to burst laser them again in the weapons. Hit them this time, please. Thank you. They still have their missiles online, though, and that's less than ideal. We need to heal this guy up quickly, so we're actually going to... Uh, I'm going to turn off through that. We'll let the weapon fire. The ship is powering up its FTL in an effort to escape. 
and they then try to offer us four missiles, two drone parts, and 18 scrap in exchange for surrender. But we want more than that. No thank you there, gents. We're going to take one power bar out of that, power up our med bay. We're going to burst laser them in the helm. Excellent. The missile also went offline because of that damage. And down they go. No problems. The ship explodes, leaving behind a missile, one drone part, and 29 scrap. Not bad. Not ideal either, but not bad. We didn't take any... Did we take a breach in here? I can't tell. Yes, we did. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Get back inside. We're actually going to send Famine to go deal with that, because Famine is very well equipped to deal with repairs in these kinds of situations. And... Problem solved. Alright, Famine, get back in the med bay. Heal yourself up, because there's no reason for you to die right now. And, Walker, you can go back into that first frame. There we go. Famine... You are more or less healed up, and then we should be able to get back into the action. Although we might want to buy something first. I don't know. We have a pile of money, and nothing too important to use it on. How about we spend that on another level of our beam? That sounds good to me. A 30 second charge timer. Very nice. Let us jump onwards again. There's a store over here. Maybe I should have held on to my money. Herp. Oh well. Um, let's maybe work our way over this way? I don't know. Let's jump over this way. There's no point going to the store now because I just spent all my money. I do have two drones I can sell, so if I still have them, I can work my way back there. We spot a rebel ship in the nebula head and stay off their radar. We can choose to engage them or not. They've got some kind of heavy laser. They've got some kind of basic laser, it looks like, and it looks like a rocket. Let's prepare to chase them. We follow their vapor trails and surf into their 6 o'clock. Weapons hot. Da -da! Yeah, it's a uh, heavy laser mark 1. Holy boarding drones, Batman! Are you, ins are you serious? That, that's insane! Two boarding drones? No way! And they hit in the helm and in the engines. That's actually insane. Um. Uh, uh. I don't even know what to do about that. That's crazy! And they have missiles hitting us in the shields. This is ridiculous. Holy cow. We're gonna have to abandon our engines and our helm soon. Actually, we should be okay in the helm, but... Jeez! Okay, hit them in the shields. Then we have to hit them in the drone bay. Hit them in the drone bay. We also took a hit somewhere else. Also, we're gonna die soon if I don't get them out of there pronto. You get out of there pronto too, War. I want you to die. Oh, that was close. Alright, we did hit the drone base. So they're only using one drone in there at the t current time, as I can tell. Oh man, this is not good for us. We just took another missile in there. Come on, guys. Okay, the artillery beam did a whole pile of damage, and now they're trying to run away. That's good. We didn't actually knock out any of their weapons, but now we can. There we go. They're trying to surrender, offering us three missiles, a drone part, and 21 scrap. We will not accept their surrender. We are going to kill them. Hit them with a missile, kill them as fast... What just happened there? Uh, our missile just exploded in the air for no readily apparent reason. Um, that's not cool. <laughs> Their weapons are all offline, so as long as we hit them with a burst laser before they get a chance to run, we should be okay. And there's that. Done. Okay. Holy cow, that was crazy. The ship explodes, leaving behind a missile, a drone part, and 39 scrap. But, man, that sucked. Okay, guys. We're gonna have to go fix this problem. We have to fight two drones in here before we can start repairing the damage. Oh no, only one. One of them must have died at some point. Quickly repair that damage. War, get out of there. Famine, get in there. Once that hole is fixed, we can vent oxygen back into the room. No, apparently we have another hole somewhere. I'm not sure where it is, though. Probably one of these edges. There it is. Okay, you go fix that. You guys go heal. Part of the problem with being in a nebula is if you get holes like that, you can't tell where they are until later on. Alright, get back out of there. Is there some... Get out of there! Is there one somewhere else? No, it looks like we're pretty good for the rest of it. Alright, Death, back in the engines. Plague, you're gonna need to get healed up too. War over to weapons. Sheesh, that took a beating. Alright. Hopefully we get luckier in the future, and that doesn't happen again. Famine, you're gonna head over to your shield bay. There we go. And Walker. I oh, don't you're Plague. I sent Walker in the wrong place. Get back in there, Walker. Plague is going to the engines. Thank you very much. The helm, rather. I'm not interested in having Walker, some newbie takeover. Want that additional dodge chance. Yes, we do. Alright, power back up the engines. We could try and buy something else, but I don't even know what it would be. 
But for the time being, let's just jump forward and see if we can't stockpile some money. There is a distress beacon here, though, which might be worth visiting. I think we're going to head over this way, though. We'll see what we can get to this beacon. We will see what we can see. What do we find here? It's worrying that the rebels have penetrated so deep into uncharted space, even if it is only an unmanned craft. It arms its weapons, and we should do the same. I got bombs, ion blast, mark two from the looks of things, and a beam weapon. Well, this could be bad if they hit us with a lot of those uh, ion blasts, but if they're missing like that, I'm not too worried. We can take about five... Oh, that's a firebomb. Okay, get in there, put the fire out. Put the fire out. You're a rock, that's your, basically your job. Hit them in the weapons. Okay, they still have the dangerous... The dangerous weapons. They still have the, the weapons that are... That work in a combo together, but their bombs are offline, so that's good. Fires out, and he should be able to repair that no problem by himself. I would send our mechanic over, but he's busy. Knock out their cloak so they can't keep dodging us, and then we'll work on taking down those weapons again. Oxygen is back online, so that's good. And there goes the artillery beam, and here comes the kill. Awesome, that faster artillery beam charge is very nice. The ship explodes, giving us another three fuel, drone part, and 31 scrap. Hard to complain. Excellent, so we can make it to the store and then make it back out. We're going to do just that. That's a big jump, actually. What do we have here? Seeing a trade depot set up on the nearby beacon implies there is an alien settlement on some rock. We decide to check out their wares. Alright, what are we buying? We've got a couple options here. A couple options. We can't get stealth, like I suspected. We could try and buy a drone control. But do we want one? That's the question. There's, just, there's a lot of things we could buy here. We could try and buy a teleporter, but we have the beam weapon, so I'm probably not going to rely on teleporting for this game. Although, you know what, that's, that's probably a good idea too, because I use teleporting in almost every game I play. It would be nice to have something a little bit different. We could try and buy the drone bay, though. The problem is, if I want to buy the drone bay, I have to sell one of my drones. So, that's not ideal. Um, these guys heal pretty good, though. Maybe I'll sell the anti-ship drone and just buy some... use the hull repair drone to heal myself and then sell it. <laughs> that could be kind of funny. Um, what else would I buy if I save my money? Because, I mean, we have to upgrade our ship a little bit more. We don't have any weapons to upgrade yet. We could upgrade one more level in the artillery beam to make it a complete monster of a machine. But if we're not buying the teleporter, drone seems like the next obvious thing. But <laughs> selling my anti-ship drone to get it seems a bit stupid. They're not even selling more drones, so I can't get more. I could buy long-range scanners, but I think that's a waste at this point. Yeah. I guess we'll do that. We'll, <laughs> we'll have to rely on get, finding a new drone somewhere. We'll sell the anti-ship drone in order to buy the drone bay. There we go. We bought our drone control. Oh, it came with a defense drone. That's good. The defense drone is this drone I wanted anyway, so that works out for the best. We'll put our hull repair drone in there. We'll take two power out of something. Take two power out of engines, sure. Put it in the hull repair drone, see how what see how much that heals us. I've never actually used one of these things before. Is it just like scanning? Oh no, it is healing us. I'm surprised there's no sound effect for that. That's weird. Let's try another one. See how much it actually heals us. I wasn't paying attention there, didn't notice it was healing. There's one, two, three, and that's gone. Huh. Well, I guess we might as well heal ourselves all the way up if we spent all that money on the drone bay. One. Two. Three. That's kind of cool. I've never used this before. Four. I guess we're getting our whole five out of that one. Very nice. All right, that's really cool. I'm actually going to hold on to this. <laughs> it might get a bit expensive for drone parts, but that's a really cool thing. I've always just sold them, but that that's pretty neat. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. Let's jump out of here. Maybe I'll sell it later on, but for the moment, that's pretty neat. Alright, we jump into a calmer part of the nebula. However, our relief fades as the Rebel Scout jumps to the beacon and moves into attack. They have four laser penetration and weapons, but they also have level three shields. So we'll have to hull missile down their shields and then blast them with our lasers. Hopefully that'll work. Hopefully they don't get four hits in a row, because that would be unfortunate. And hit, please. There we go. Now we hit them in the shields with our burst laser. Hope those all hit. Nope, that's not happening. <laughs> Here come some more lasers. Ooh, that was close. Got three hits in that one. How is our shield crew doing it? He's a, he's a two, 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 blah, 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 blah. He has two-star skills. So that's good. 
We're actually going to fire another missile at the shields. Hopefully this hits. Oh, I forgot about the artillery beam. And burst laser them down. Well, that was good. Now they're not a threat at all. We can kill them in the next salvo. There's not a thing they can do about it. Well done there, artillery beam. You made this fight a whole lot easier. Blast them. And down they go. Very nice. The ship explodes, giving us a fuel, a drone part, and another 31 scrap. Not bad. So, I guess we'll work our way over this way, because I probably can't get back any other way. What is over here? Ooh, an ion storm. Hello. Ooh, a rock-armored transport nearby looks to have lost its bearings, but when we hail them, they grow suspicious. Whatever life form you are, we find you repugnant. We seek no aid. Leave. Now. Well, we can leave them alone, we can fight them because they called us repugnant, or we can use our rock crew member to lead them out of the nebula. Let's try that. The rock grudgingly transfer control of their helm to us, and we steer them to a thinner part of the nebula. They're not sure what to think, but transfer over some supplies, all the same. Three fuel, two missiles, and forty-five scrap. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Nothing to complain about there, either. We're getting very lucky here, so far. Overall, it's been a very good run. Alright, let's keep going. Got lots of more space to explore before those rebels catch us up. Since we're in a nebula, we might as well take advantage of it. A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before we have time to make contact, they fade away. Let's attempt to follow and help them. While searching fruitlessly through the nebula, we stumble upon the rebel ship which the Federation loyalists were likely hiding from. We prepare to fight. Alright, they have beam drone, attack drone, three shot laser, and missile. Okay. Let's power systems up. We probably need all those. We need our oxygen too. If I take one out of the engines, I can turn on the defense drone. That way the rocket won't be a problem, but I think the problem really here is these lasers. There's the potential for four shots and a beam drone, so that probably won't work out for the best. I think we're just going to go for raw evasion here. I'm not entirely sure if that's the best strategy, but I'm going to do it anyway. We'll hit them in the shields with the hull missile. It would be nice to have a, a missile with three or four damage, but... Oh, they missed us. That's good. Bunch of misses. That's also good. Hit them with a missile, please, and then I can shoot them. No, you missed. Okay, shoot them with a the burst laser, because it's going to take ever, forever for it to charge. And we knocked out the missile. That's good. Walker, get in there and fix the doors. Not that it really matters, but it's still better to have them fixed than not fixed. Hull missile them in the shields. We need to hit that. There we go, hit that laser, and very nice. We also hit them with our artillery beam. They're now trying to run away, which is unfortunate given that I just shot at them. And they're offering to surrender, giving us four fuel, drone part, and 21 scrap. That's a decent offer, but we're not going to accept, because I suspect we can get at least 30 scrap by fighting them, and some scrap would be lovely right about now. Also, if we can take them out quickly, that would be ideal, because they are going to be running soon, so we have to take out that helm to stop them from getting away. There we go, they're not going anywhere. Don't play the miss. No, they hit us directly in the shields. That's not good. Fix those shields quickly, guys. We can take our time waiting for the burst lizard to recharge, though, because of the fact. There we go. That we had knocked out their helm. The ship explodes, giving us three fuel, two missiles, and 34 scraps. So well, I guess it's a good thing I didn't take their offer before. We did take a couple hits there, so why not use a hull repair drone? Take some power out of the engines, turn on the hull repair drone. Heal us up for free, please. <laughs> I wish it had a sound effect. Like, or it was actually healing on the ship instead of the shield bubble. But that's still pretty darn cool. We just got five free health for that. That's awesome. Okay, maybe I, maybe I was wrong to sell those hull repair drones all the time. <laughs> that's pretty powerful. Okay, we have 132 scrap. Let's power up that system to the max. BAM! 20 second charge on the artillery beam. That is going to be a force to be reckoned with. We probably have one, two, three, four, five jumps left. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, that works just about right. Let's go. A drone recovery arm would be awesome, although I don't think you can recover hull repair drones. We find an advanced rebel automated ship remaining at this beacon. And without functioning sensors, we can't tell what's in it. We do know that it has some variety of heavy laser, it has a dual laser, and it probably has a bomb in this slot. But I think we're going to fight it despite the fact that it has really high shields. Let's attack them. Yep, it has a bomb. However, it can't get through our shields with these weapons. The bomb is the only thing posing any threat to us at the current time. Three shots can't do anything to three shields. So we can just tank that out, no problem. And it's a small bomb, looks of things, so that's not too worrying either. Hit them with a missile, please. There we go. Now we can blast them with a burst laser. And we missed. 
That's alright, that's just how it goes. And the artillery beam! Nice and fast. Cuts right through there, knocks out the dual laser for some reason. And the small bomb hits us in the weapons. However, we knock out their weapons completely. Excellent. Although it will take us a while to do the rest of the damage, the artillery beam is probably going to take them out. We'll aim at the helm while we're repairing. I should probably send my engineer over to fix it. Get over there, famine, and down they go. Artillery beam and burst lasers combined. We salvage 29 scrap from the ship, and when we investigate the station, we find it's a storage site for various resources. Eh, could have been better, but could have been worse. We gather 3 fuel, drone part, and 22 scrap. At least there was something there. Finding nothing is definitely discouraging. Send him back to get healed, send war over to get healed as well. Power up that system, and that should be good. I think death and plague are doing fine, so we'll send, oops, send famine back to the shields and send war over to the weapons. Very nice. We got lots of money again. We can put it somewhere else if we feel the need. What should we power up now? Hmm. I suppose we could try and power up these systems, but we're not going to need them until later on anyway, so let's hold on to our money for the time being. We might find something useful to spend it on. We jump up to the edge of the map, and here we find that a pirate ship arrives shortly after us. Judging from the fact they try to avoid us, we assume they must be a smuggler trying to stay away from the beacons. Well, let's attack them. Sorry, guys. We power up weapons and move in to engage. They have big, 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 big rockets and boarding drones. Okay, what we're doing right now, right now, turning off a layer of engines, turning on a defense drone. Defense drones can actually shoot down boarding drones if you're lucky. If you're lucky, shoot it. Shoot it. You missed! Oh, That's really frustrating. That wastes a lot of that money I just put into him. Oh, well. He should at least still be able to shoot down those rockets, but that's disappointing. Okay, well, I guess we'll just have to beat them down quickly. He's going to be breaking into our drone control, which I can't have him destroy, because I need that system to be running. Otherwise, our drone isn't going to be able to shoot down those rockets, either. Although, honestly, I don't have much faith in their skill. There we go, that's good. That's what I wanted to see. So, we are going to hull missile their shields, and then we're going to burst laser their drone control. We want to turn... Oh, perfect, the Artemis... <laughs> the Artemis... The artillery beam also hit them. They don't want to fight and are trying to escape. Well, that's too bad. You should have thought of that before you opened hostilities. Since we knocked out the drone control, we can kill this boarding drone in peace. Our defense drone did a great job of taking out that rocket. Burst laser to the helm so they can't get away. And they hail us, saying, We realize our ship is no match for yours. If you let us go, we can make it worth your while. They offer us two missiles, a drone part, and 23 scrap, but we're ignoring their pleas and continuing the attack. Sorry, guys. You guys shot boarding drones at us. There's no forgiveness for that kind of thing. And we shoot them with the... Oh, the artillery beam. My mistake. And down they go. Woo! We search the ship and discover that its cargo was new military-grade weaponry. It was somehow undamaged in the fight and could be easily mounted on our ship. We gain 33 scrap and another burst laser Mark II. Ho ho! Burst laser Mark IIs are good weapons. So definitely no complaints coming from me now. Alright. We have to power that thing up. That gives us a lot more firepower. That sounds good to me. Alright, so we're actually going to put our power out of the defense drone, put it in the med bay so we can heal up, send war back to his position, and Famine, once you're healed up, can go back in the shields. We should have enough money, actually, to buy all the upgrades. Oh, not quite enough upgrades to power them both. For the time being, then, I may just turn off the hull missile, turn on the burst lasers, because six burst lasers is awesome. Six shots of laser, rather. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Alright, well, I guess we'll take our power out of there, put it in there, and keep going. We have a couple more jumps before we run out of space. We're probably going to only have one, two, three, so that fits in perfectly. That fits in perfectly. We find that there are a number of small stations nearby. Before we have time to scan them, warnings go off, and a rebel teleporter was used. We've been boarded. Where have we been boarded? We've been boarded in drone control, apparently, and there's three people in there? Well, how about let's just not go in there, then. <laughs> I'm cool with not going in there. I can lose a couple layers of drone control. Maybe only one before the IR up there. Yeah, only one. Only lost one. You're actually going to leave as well, and I'm going to vent out that room, too, so they can go in there, no problem. But they're also going to get deoxygenated very quickly. Should be fast enough. We don't lose any layers there. Yes, it was. Alright, so we're going to actually bring our defensive line in here, I think. We'll fight them in here. We'll fight them on the beaches. And we should be okay there. I'm going to close those doors so we don't suffocate our guys. And uh, there we go. 
This should be all of them down, no problem. Walker can probably handle his guy. And there's no doubt War can handle his. Excellent job there, guys. Well done. You guys can go heal up, and we're going to send Famine to go repair the drone bay. Only took one damage as well, so it didn't do any damage to the hull. Very nice. Okie dokie. Famine, you've done your job well. Walker, you were surprisingly adequate. War, have you leveled up your fighting skill yet? No, you haven't, but your innate Mantis fighting ability definitely made you worth having there. Alright. Didn't get any reward for that, but we didn't take any damage either, so there's no problems. We have two more jumps to go before we're out of the sector. Let's make use of them. We find that we can't see anything through the thick gases surrounding our ship here. Without knowing what's out there, all we can do is wait for our FTL to recharge. Alright then, that's two unlucky sectors, but I think we got all the luck we can hope for out of this area. We jump to the final beacon, which is not going to have anything because it is in a nebula. Nebula beacons never have anything at them, for whatever reason. Alright, well we are doing fantastically now. Let us jump to the pirate-controlled sector that lies ahead. Zoop! Very nice, we made it all the way to Sector 5. None too shabby. A few Federation-friendly planets still exist in this sector, but they are constantly under attack by pirate raids. This is a dangerous sector, so we'll have to be careful. This is Sector 5, yep. Yep, so we did not get our <laughs> our uh, diplomatic immunity, whatever it's called, achievement this time, but that's okay. We are pretty well equipped to move forward. So, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor with another episode of FTL on board the VSS Apocalypse, manned by the Four Horsemen and uh, Walker. But that's okay. We have made some good progress this time, <gasps> got ourselves some new weaponry, leveled up our artillery beam to maximum. All powerful. We're actually we're very well equipped for moving forwards. If you've enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the episode one more time. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye